When you have a fraction and the numerator, the top number, is bigger than the bottom number, that's called an improper fraction. You can say it's improper because it's bigger than 1. Sometimes with improper fractions, what we need to do is change it so that we actually show that it's bigger than 1 by changing it into what's called a mixed number. A mixed number has some whole number parts and a fraction part. To do that, you just divide. So I say here, 13 divided by 10, and I get the answer. It will go, 10 will go into 13 one time. But there's something left over, because 10 times 1 is just 10. So there's actually 3 left over. The 3 left over I write up here, and I keep the tenths. I guess this makes sense when you think about it because 1 is actually 10 tenths. 10 tenths plus one more, uh, 3 more tenths would make 13 tenths. Let's look at the next one. 27 divided by 5 gives me 5 times and 2 remainder. So 27 fifths is the same as 5 whole things and 2 fifths. Both of these are the same amount of stuff. If it was a cake, this is having each cake cut up into 5 pieces and having 27 pieces. This is having 5 whole cakes and 2 pieces, one cake cut up into 5 pieces and having 2 of them. In both cases there are 27 fifths. This second number here is the mixed number. Here are some improper fractions for you to try. What you should do is pause the video and then change these improper fractions into mixed numbers. When you've done that, you can start the video again and see what answers I got. Here are my answers. In a minute, pause the video, check to see if your answers agree with mine. If they do, you can finish. If they don't, you should watch the next part of the video, which explains how I got my answers. So pause it now and check your answers. So here are my answers. For the first one, 5 divided by 4 goes 1 time and 1 remainder. So 5 quarters is 1 and 1 quarter. For the next one, 16 thirds, 16 divided by 3 goes 5 times, because 5 threes are 15, and 1 left over. 5 and 1 third. For the next question, 28 divided by 16 well, 2 sixteens are 32, so it's only going to go one time, and there'll actually be 12 sixteenths remainder. And I could simplify this because 12 sixteenths can cancel. So 4 goes into 12 three times, and 4 goes into 16 four times. So that's a better answer. For the last one, 14 divided by 7 actually goes two times and no remainder. Now that's the same as just writing 2, because if I've got no sevenths, that means there's no fraction part. If you're not sure about any of this, you should discuss this with your teacher. 